Hello guys again, we are back with another unboxing, reviewing and testing of this Silvercrest Monsieur Cuisine Edition Plus model SKMK 1200D4 And what you can do with that? You can mix with beet, stir, chop, mass, emulsify, steam, stew, knead, bro, cook and wait food And some of these we are going to find out together how they work Okay, let's see one by one what we've got into the box. Beginning, we've got the lid for the steamer basket. Next, we have the steamer basket sallow, the steamer basket dip, seal of the dip steamer basket, ensure the correct position. There's the rubber you can see inside. Here we've got the blender jack, the connections you can see that it gives power we get the main switch on off and you can plug the cable here a QR code gives you some information inside we've got the overflow hole locking system there's a locking system inside here. We can lock the lid for the blender jack. From down there we get some four suction feet. It's very helpful. It's not going anywhere. You need to try hard to pull it out. That's very convenient. This is the scale. You can weigh some food to max this uh, five kilos. Temperature controller from here. You can see this rotated switch speed controller start stop button turbo button reverse button rust button steamer knead and scale tape that it will help you to work with the scale the timer you can put timer from 0 to 90 minutes the display and inside we've got the blade assembly just Push this here and it will unlock. You can take it out. It's very washable. We have the seal for the blade assembly. Ensure the correct position and no leaking when you're working. And then for install it, we've got these two plastic. You can ensure the right position. Put it inside and then again just pull that and it will lock. We've got the mixer attachment, the cooking pot, spatula, very soft in front. And here we've got the seal for the lid, the blender jack, ensure that correct uh, position and no leaking. The lid for the blender jack and the measuring bracket just rotate it and take it out and of course here we get more rubber inside you can ensure that there is no leaking and it goes uh, into the internal components of this uh, cuisine okay so that was all very nice of this uh, monsieur cuisine but I think it's time for testing to see how it works and understanding if uh, this cuisine is worth the 200 euros to buy it. Now first I will try to make a bread dough. Let's turn it on. From the back we can see the large display. Here we've got the time display. We've got the blender. Jack has not been positioned or closed it correctly. You can see the icon. We've got the symbol for the speed. Here we can set the temperature and then we can change for the weight. It is max 5 kilos, you can see as I'm pushing my hand. 
Uh, 5 kilos is the max. And we've got some LEDs when we are pushing the button. To go back to the display, just rotate some button and it will go back. And here we've got the display for the speed. Now let's try to make it the bread dough. And as we are walking, I will expl explain more of these uh, buttons, what they are doing. Now included into the box, we've got about uh, 250 pages of recipes. And I will use one of these recipes to make uh, bread dough just to see how it blends. Now we need 100 ml of water. You can go to the weight. You can put this and then I can, if I push it, it will go to the zero. And now I can fill 100 ml. Nice, 108. Now we'll put the water inside. Take that to lock it. It locks here, just rotate. Nice. And then we need to put in three minutes. Just rotate it. Three minutes. Temperature 37. It goes maximum 130. We need 37, speed 1, it's blinking the start stop and start and it's counting reverse. And I think we are okay, we can hear the sound. Now I'm going to put it on the weight again. We need 250. Zero. Oh yeah, we are okay. I'm going to open that. You can see the water is okay. I'm going to put inside and put all the ingredients from your recipe. We need to lock it. Now we need to put it for two minutes. Knead this button. So two minutes and start stop. It starts and it stops and it starts again. You can see there is the reverse. That means it's walking to a reverse. We cannot push the reverse, it is automatic doing it by itself. Red light is indicated uh, that is in lock position. And it stops. Now let's turn it on. Now, if we need to put some again, we can do that. And again, we can put it in walk. You can do that for one minute. Is moving, is stopping. We've got a quiet movement, maybe it needs a little bit of water. No, I think it's ready. And then we can stop it. And here it is, it's ready. It's quite hot, 
If you need to put uh, more flour, it is your choice. Just follow the recipe and I'm sure you will do a great job. Okay, next I will use the steaming program. 500 ml of water inside here. We need this steamer basket deep. Some carrots, potatoes and onions. Let's find out how it works. Again, we go to the weight. Nice. Very easy to lock. Seal here. Just push. Rotate. Next, carrot, potatoes, onion. Put about 15 minutes. Here is the button for the steamer. It says 20, but we need only 15. And start stop. It is by default 120 Celsius. And we can see after five minutes the of preparation. Now it starts to count uh, reverse. And ah, let's try to see if it's ready or not. Very nice, and the onions. That's very good. Nice. Now, next I will do some chicken soup. I'm taking that out. Lovely. Now here we are. For the soup chicken, all the ingredients are inside. I will put it here. Nice and lock it. It is in max, a little bit less. I will choose my program. I will put it for... ...20 minutes. On a high temperature it is 130. One speed, reverse. And cross fingers the chicken soup to be nice. Now let's see some specs to the display unit. We've got the reverse icon, the symbol for the speed. Speed is 1 to 4, now it is in 1. The temperature that I set, the time that I set. Here we've got the symbol for the selected speed. And the temperature is 90 Celsius. This is the temperature inside of this uh, blender jug. And we've got a small icon that shows you the food is heating up. Now you can see the food is coming out. It was in 130 Celsius. I put it in 100 Celsius and now we don't have any problem. The food is not coming out. You can see a little bit that that is okay. Food is ready. <laughs> Let's see what we've done with this chicken soup. Okay. It's quite hot. I'm sure you can leave it here. No problem in the table. Okay, where's the chicken? Ah, oh, there's the chicken. Hmm. It's quite nice. I can see the chicken. Is it cook it well with no problem? You need to be careful with the chicken to cook it well. Tasty. Thumbs up. I mean, only took about 20 minutes to finish this uh, chicken soup. Well, it's near 2 o'clock and I think it's time to eat this soup. Now, next we can see here there are blades. That means you can cut. And I will cut some 
cornflakes, why not? Of course, uh, there's a variety of food, food that you can try to do that. Nuts, hazelnuts, and more and more. Now we need to lock it again. Perfect. And let's uh, put it on speed three, four, yeah. And let's see what we're going to do. And it has speed ten. can decrease and increase. Nice. Of course there is a cup you need to put it if you want. And we can see it's doing a great job. I'm sure with other ingredients it will do a great job. Well guys, that was all about this Monsieur Cuisine Edition Plus. What do you think about that? Is it worth the money to buy it, 200 euros? Well, I think for me, yes, it's worth the money to buy it. You can cook meat, fish, vegetables, whatever you've got into your mind. You can make a birthday cake, marmalades. There is 250 pages with the recipes that is included in the box. There's more than 300 recipes inside. I'm sure you're gonna find out one it's uh, suitable for you and you will try to do it with this uh, Monsieur Cuisine. Please leave down below to the comments your thoughts. What do you think about that? And with all that guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like or dislike my videos, your choice. Share this video, you never know who may need it. And hit the notification bell because more videos in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye bye.